Hey guys, congrats to Josh McIntyre. He narrowly pulled ahead of Aaron Newman with a score of 20 points to Newman 17. So good job everybody, lots of good submissions. This week we're going to shift gears just a little bit and it's going to be an 8 pound sledgehammer. It's going to be a vertical lever down to the nose and back. So this is what you have to do. You have to make sure that you have the right size hammer. There's different size hammers out there. You have to measure the length of the hammer handle from the base of the hammer head down to the end of the handle. And it must be at least 30 inches. Pretty much you should be able to find one with a 30 inch handle. You also have to show that the sledgehammer is an 8 pound hammer by either weighing the hammer on a scale or showing the imprint on the hammer. Not all hammerheads are going to have the imprint. You may have it on the label though. Alright, and then this is what your sledge lever should look like. Get it up here. The R, you should be gripping down near the end of the handle. Okay, you can see that my palm is actually beyond the end of the handle. That's what you want to see. Hammer should start pretty much vertical. Hand should be level with the shoulder. And then we're going to bring it down near the forehead. You don't have to touch your forehead. You can go to the side and then bring it back up. I don't want to see any of this. Alright, none of that. It's got to be strict. Okay, so this week, hit it hard. We're going to focus on strong wrists. Get your video in by 8 p.m. on Friday evening, 8 o'clock Eastern Time, and we will vote. All right, and uh, as you saw in the post below, rest in peace, Jack Lane succumbed to, I believe it was, pneumonia over the weekend. So that's what we're going to close with this, this week. All the best in your training.